Hey guys, my name is Stephen Goddard. I graduated from the Alberta School of Business back in 2016 with a major in operations management. I am currently a software consultant in London working for a small fintech company and Professor Fields asked me to give you some advice and tips on what to expect during a case competition. Now, the first thing that I thought about was the thing that I always had the most difficulty with, which was uh, networking with corporates. It's often the most daunting task, but really quite easy to prepare for, actually. Uh, every case competition has a sponsorship, uh, and multiple sponsors. Best to just give them a Google. Uh, some case competitions are good enough to list who's going to be attending and speaking. Great to come up with a preloaded question or two, something along the lines of, um, hey, I see you launched a new product recently. Were you involved in the marketing for that? That kind of question shows that you've done a little bit of research and have a genuine interest in the company. Uh, as far as specific networking tips go, I won't give you any. I'm crap at it. Um, really best to ask your parents, parents, friends, professors. Uh, everybody has a tr trick or two that's been in the industry a long time that they, they use these networking events. So get their tips, test out what works for you, and go from there. Uh, arguably more important than networking or meeting these uh, corporates is, is meeting your peers at these things. These comp case competitions attract a lot of really cool, interesting people, um, both nationally and internationally. If you're lucky enough to go to an international one, I absolutely recommend meeting uh, these international students and, and making friends. Um, I, I still constantly hang out with my friends that I met from, from Latvia and Germany and the Netherlands. Um, I'm lucky enough to be working in Europe and I hang out with them all the time. Um, Universities around the world do these case competitions and case-based courses for credit. So they often only send their, the best of the best to these case competitions. And it's really worth meeting them. They're really interesting people. Uh, also really worth watching them if you get the chance. They often will let you watch it, other competitors before you've already presented, but it's quite frequent that they let you watch afterwards or at least the semifinals or finals. Uh, go watch them, take tips, take take notes away from it, and uh, at the very least, you've got a talking point for afterwards. You can ask them where they got their slide deck or um, how you made the numbers interesting, which is a mystery to most people. Um, it makes for great conversation, and the people are often always worth getting to know. Uh, that's really all I've got for other tips. The only other thing that I could mention is, is following up with people, specifically corporates. Uh, your peers will often remem remember you if you make an impression, but corporates meet hundreds of students at these events. It's best to, to send a LinkedIn message, say, hey, great to meet you. Uh, if you're ever on campus, send me a, a message and let's get a cup of coffee. It really makes you stand out above the rest and, and makes a lasting impression. Uh, that's all I've got for advice and tips. Uh, best of luck with any case competitions you guys compete in and best of luck with Biz 101.